Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about the side effects of taking purified bile salts. Okay? Now, purified bile salts uh, give people a lot of benefits, especially if they don't have a gallbladder, especially if they have a problem uh, digesting fats or absorbing fat soluble vitamins or have constipation. And a lot of people um, benefit from this. But there are certain circumstances where you either don't want to take this or it could be a problem. Let's talk about that. Number one, let's say your stomach is too alkaline, okay? You don't have enough stomach acids. And by the way, in order for uh, the bile to be released, the stomach acids have to be between one and three, very, very acidic. So if you have weak stomach acids, that could be the very cause of why you're not releasing bile in the first place. So if you take purified bile salts, which are alkaline in nature, you're gonna neutralize that last bit of acid you have and it could aggravate the digestion and from the stomach level and just make you feel more bloated or nauseous. So in which case, what you really need to do to solve this is take uh, an acidifier, something like um, betaine hydrochloride or apple cider vinegar tablets, and that would acidify the stomach and then make this work a lot better. So it's not that you don't need uh, purified bile salts, it just means that the stomach needs more acid first. Okay, number two, if you have a hyperthyroid condition, okay, like Graves, for example, you don't wanna take bile salts because bile salts increase the conversion of T4 to T3, so they speed up the thyroid. So bile salts are really good to take if someone's a hypothyroid but not a hyper because you'll end up with a hyper hyper. Okay, number three, diarrhea. If you have chronic diarrhea and you take bile salts, that can worsen things. Why? Because purified bile salts in, lubricate the colon and they loosen the bile. So purified bile salts are good for people with constipation but not diarrhea. Okay, number four, bile acid or bile salt malabsorption syndrome. Now, normally in the small intestine, you're supposed to recycle 90% of all your bile salts, okay? Now, if there's damage to the small intestine and you can't recycle that, all that bile is gonna go through the small intestine and hit the large intestine, and that's when you're gonna have the number one symptom of this, which is diarrhea, okay? So in which case, you wouldn't wanna take more, you'd wanna fix the small intestine. This could also occur if you had a gastric bypass where they're taking out part of the colon as well. And lastly, if you ever take purified bile salts and you get diarrhea, there's a really quick remedy to stop it, and that's actually called calcium carbonate. Now, I normally never recommend calcium carbonate, but in this situation, I would. But just make sure you get the kind that does not have the magnesium, because magnesium can also act as a laxative. Just get pure calcium carbonate. It'll stop the diarrhea pretty fast. All right, thanks for watching. So if you're enjoying these videos, click share and spread the word.